Hey there, this is June Blender from Sapien Technologies, and this is the second part of a two-part series on creating a themed or branded PowerShell GUI application. In the first part, we transformed this default sort of boring-looking PowerShell GUI app into this much snazzier, modern, dark-themed GUI app with corporate branding. Now today, we're going to do what I think is really the coolest part of this. We're going to save the thematic elements of this GUI app in files so that we can easily reapply them to new GUI apps that we create and give makeovers to existing GUI apps. And we can also share the theme with friends by sharing the files. I've shared all of the files that I'm going to be using today in my, this GitHub repo. Um, this is the branded GUI apps folder in Thinking in Events. So I'll be sharing that with you and feel free to fork that and do pull requests and share your themes as well. To do this work we're going to be using the features of PowerShell Studio on the designer tab in the template section. We'll create a property set a control set and a form template and we'll apply them. So let's get started. This is fun. Let's start by creating a form template for our dark theme. A form template consists of an entire PSF file plus an XML file with some descriptive information. And the PSF file includes all of the script. Now I don't really want to do that. I want to make something that I can reuse so instead of starting with this PSF file, I'll start with this much simpler one. It has the back color and four color properties, the font and the foreign border style, and it has my logos. On the script tab, it has only the required default event handlers. So it's much more reusable than starting with something more complex. To create a form template from my form, I click Designer and then click Create Form Template. The name is the name of the form template, so I'm going to change it to Sapien Dark Theme Form and add the required description. Then click Save. To use it, I click File, New, New Form, and then in addition to the preset forms that you get with PowerShell Studio, here's my Sapien Dark Theme form. And I can use it just like I use any other form template. PowerShell Studio saves the form template in a templates directory, Home Documents Sapien Templates. In the forms directory, here's the Sapien Dark Theme form that we created, and here are its components an XML file, and the Sapien Dark Theme form PSF file. So you can share your form template with your colleagues and friends. Next, let's save our pretty buttons with the deep rose border in a property set. A property set is an XML file with property names and property values that you can apply to any WinForm control. So I can create a button and then apply the properties of this button to it. Let's create that property set. I'll right click the button and click create property set. Then I'll select the properties that I want to include in the property set. The back color, flat appearance, flat style, font, and four color and give it a description. Then I click create the file name that I save it under with a, with a dot properties extension is what appears in the property set picker, so I like to pick something nice. And then I'll click Save. Now when I create a new button, and I'll just throw one on here, I can right click, click Apply Property Set, and in addition to all of the preset property sets, I can click my Deep Rose button, and now this button has all of the properties 
of the button that served as its model. Now I want to save my logos. If I'm using the dark theme form, I don't need to create logos because they come with them pre-inserted. But if I'm restyling an existing PowerShell GUI app, I want to be able to add them easily. Now this logo consists of a picture box and a label. So I want to be able to save the two WinForm controls and their properties and perhaps even functions and event handlers that make them work. So I'm going to create a control set. A control set lets me save multiple controls. I'll right click and click create control set. Give it a description. Click next. It shows me all of the functions in my PSF file. None of these are related to the logo so I'll skip them but I will include the default event handlers for the label and the picture box and click finish. Now I'll save them. Here's my sapient dark theme made with PowerShell Studio dot control. This logo consists just of a picture box and its image property with a bitmap of the of the image. I could save it as a property set with its image value. But then, when I went to use it, I would have to add a picture box control to my form and then apply the property set. For this, I've created a control set because I can save the control and its properties together. It's just a little bit easier when I use it. The last thing I'm going to do is to save the form elements as a property set. You'll recall that we've already saved them as a form template so that we can create brand new forms. But if I'm restyling an existing form, I don't want to start with a new form. I want to be able to apply the form properties to an existing form. So I'll right click and click Create Property Set. I have the form in focus this time. I'll give it a description. Click, select the properties that I want to include. I'll do back color, font, and for color, those ambient properties, and click create. And I'll save it. Here's my dark theme forms property set. Now, let's use the files that we've created. For a brand new application, I'll click File, New, New Form. Select my Sapien Dark Theme branded template. There we go. And now, if I put a button on it, I can right click, click Apply Property Set, and select my pretty Deep Rose button. And now this button has the properties of its model. I can do the same thing with the text box because I've saved a text box property set. Right click, apply property set, and here's my dark theme text box. So that's how you start with a brand new form. What if I wanted to give a form a little makeover? If you've ever been in one of my thinking in events sessions at user groups, you have a little GUI app just like this one. So let's apply our Sapien branded dark theme to this GUI application. I'm going to start by right clicking. I'll click apply property set and choose the dark theme form property set that we just created. That looks nice already. And you can see that the label picked up the ambient property for the font and font color. Here's a text box, right click, click apply property set select the text box theme and these are buttons one two three shift click right click apply property set find that deep rose button property set click select that's looking nice already let me scoot this down to make some room for my logos and I'll add those control sets to do that I come to the toolbox and click the Control Sets tab 
Then, in addition to all of the nice control sets that come with PowerShell Studio, here's my Sapien logo. Just double clicked to insert that. And here's my Made with PowerShell Studio control set with a label and the picture box. And we're done. It's really quick. And since you've saved all of these elements and files, you can reuse them, use them on other computers, and share them with colleagues, just as I've saved them in my GitHub repo. So have some fun with these features. Be sure to fork that repo and send me pull requests for your theme ideas too. And again, thanks for listening.